Meghan Markle and Prince Harry slated for how they handled royal exit, deplorable. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision to quit the royal family sent shockwaves through the monarchy at the start of the year. Reflecting on the biggest royal news stories of 2021 expert has condemned the deplorable way the Sussexes announced the move. Meghan Markle, 39, and Prince Harry, 36, stepped away from their royal roles in March just months after they stunned the world by announcing their wish to quit in January. Since then they have settled in the USA and moved into a multi-million pound mansion in Montecito, Santa Barbara with their son Archie Harrison, 1, in July. Meghan and Harry's wish to remove themselves from the royal limelight was in part fueled by their desire to give Archie a more peaceful life. The couple intend to raise their son as a private citizen in the States and it is not known how much contact he might have with his royal relatives going forward. As 2020 draws to a close, royal watchers have begun to reflect on some of the year's biggest milestones. These include the Queen's morale-boosting speech to the nation as Britain was going through its first lockdown in April and how she led the country in marking the 75th anniversary of V-Day in May. However, the past 12 months have also included more difficult moments for the Windsor clan which are impossible to ignore. Meghan and Harry are understood to have blindsided the Queen with their bombshell announcement in January which forced the palace to organize an emergency royal summit at Sandringham. Prince Harry attended the talks with senior royals and aides at the Queen's Norfolk home and an exit deal was quickly put together. Nonetheless, one royal commentator has claimed Meghan and Harry's handling of events was deplorable. Reflecting on the Sussex's royal exit. Expert Richard Fitzwilliam said, Harry and Meghan, whom we knew were unhappy in their royal roles, suddenly announced they were stepping back from royal duties in early January, which I thought they handled deplorably. This led to the Sandringham Summit, a crisis meeting presided over by the Queen and then to them stepping down as senior working royals, unable to use their HRHs or Sussex Royal as their brand. This will be reassessed by the end of March 2021. Meghan and Harry have kept their royal titles but are not meant to use them in conjunction with their royal work going forward. Whether or not the couple hold on to their HRH styles and Duke and Duchess of Sussex's titles will be decided by the Queen next year. According to Mr. Fitzwilliams, the couple's success landing commercial deals with Spotify and Netflix in the USA means they are likely to remain stateside for the foreseeable future. He added, it has become clear that, having relocated to Los Angeles, that they see their future in the US. They achieved financial independence with a substantial deal with Netflix and another with Spotify for podcasts. Mr. Fitzwilliams also claimed Meghan could choose to enter politics at a later stage. He said, the way they have espoused activism has led many to anticipate a possible eventual future in politics for Meghan, who is an American citizen and is extremely articulate. Meghan and Harry are expected to spend their first Christmas since quitting the firm at home with their son Archie. Meghan's mother Doria Ragland lives nearby in Los Angeles and could join the Sussexes for the holiday.